So an immediate midterm savings and then retirement. Uh, which one should I focus on first? Welcome to the Impact School of Money. My name is Adam Davis. The mission of the Impact School of Money is to change the way that people are educated about money. This is episode 13. So what we're going to talk about today is something, is, is, is a principle uh, that a lot of the, the people that I work with call uh, buckets of money. And so when it comes to saving, when it comes to saving money, uh, we're not going to be talking today about how much to save or, or the best savings account or anything like that. What we're going to be talking about is just different places and understanding the very best places and making to have money and making sure that we're uh, well diversified. And not diversified in the way of this many stocks and this many bonds and, and all of that stuff, but of just, just a very basic, starting with the basics, uh, basic uh, starting points of where and how uh, to approach, kind of the, the financial approach of what to do uh, with our money. And it's, and it's, it's, a, it's an idea of, of buckets of money. And so if you imagine uh, there's, there's really three places uh, or three categories that we encourage a lot of our clients to have, to have money in. And the first one uh, is going to be the smallest, the smallest bucket and this is going to be the short, uh, the short term bucket or the, uh, I would even call it more so like the, the immediate bucket. This, uh, has a thousand to maybe two thousand dollars. And so the, the reasoning for that is you think about in today's world, uh, how often do you need money like right away? right away that could be put on, a, on a, a, a card and then paid off the next day. Uh, but, you know, the access to cash uh, is not necessarily something that, that is needed. But in case of an emergency, something was happening with, with banks, the, the power was down, you know, emergency, it is, it would be nice to have the cash, right? But in this immediate bucket is 1000 to 2000 And so to, to determine how much should I have in this immediate bucket, a good question is, is to think of what's the biggest emergency you've ever had. Biggest emergency you've ever had and how, and how much uh, did you need for it? You know, you have a transmission go out, you need to uh, fix a tire, you know, something where you just needed money right away and you needed to make sure you had the money for it. And that's what we encourage people to have in, in, the, immediate, in the immediate bucket. Okay? And then you have more of a short-term, mid-term bucket that a lot of people call an emergency fund, short-term, mid-term bucket, where the goal of this bucket is that there is somewhere between three uh, to start, three to six months of expenses, whatever your monthly expenses are, in this bucket. So that if there was a job loss, if there was uh, uh, some sort of emergency that there's money in this for an emergency that's going to be bigger than our immediate in the bank need access to it right away money. And that's in the emergency fund, in the emergency fund bucket. And then the biggest bucket uh, that wouldn't really fit on here, but the biggest bucket that we're going to have that, you know, goes off the page there is going to be our retirement, our retirement bucket. And where these are going to be invested or saved or what accounts they're going to be in, that's a conversation uh, for another day. But uh, just the, the, the types of buckets and just getting organized first. So an immediate, an emergency fund or midterm, short-term, midterm, uh, short-term savings, midterm savings, and then retirement. And so the question I get a lot of the time is, well, okay, so I have, you know, a certain amount of money. And, uh, you know, I, I understand this, I like this, I, I, I can, you know, get the visual picture of having, you know, different, uh, different buckets of, of time horizon money, uh, which one should I focus on first? And so, again, this is going to go back 
to something we've mentioned in several episodes is one of the things that is, is, is kind of a frustration to me about uh, the financial industry sometimes is, or just people in general, I think, is a lot of the time it's, it's numbers versus, and it's this ongoing battle between these two things, numbers versus, versus emotions. Now, answer this question, is money an emotional thing for most people? Is it an emotional thing? So numbers versus emotion. A lot of the time, you know, we'll get a quote, we'll get something uh, shown to us, and it, it, it's all logic. It's, you know, the numbers say this, the numbers say that. This is what the numbers say. But that's all well and good. But you have to always take into effect when it comes to money that a human being is going to be doing it. That it's not a robot. It's not you give it to a robot and the robot's going to go execute exactly as you program the instructions to do. Human beings have been programmed very differently and we're emotional about money. And so as, as, as strategic as it may sound to do this, that, or the other, if you can't implement it because of the emotional, you know, whatever, then it's not going to work. And so it's finding that balance of what do the numbers say is the best thing to do. Emotionally, how does this person actually function? And where do we meet in the middle? How do we make sure that it, that it, meets, uh, in, it can meet in the middle and that it can take, uh, actually help them get on a path to where they want to go, not really knowing the obstacles that we're going to face. But it really, it, it starts here with, the, with just these different, these different buckets. And so it's having, you know, here I have this uh, sum of money. Let's say I have $300, $300 uh, that I want to save. And I'm looking at the different places that I can put uh, this $300. And, and I want to focus on one of these. Which one should I focus on? I don't have this yet, so I should put my $300 a month into this account until it's totally full and then focus on these other two. Well, as we've talked about in, in past episodes, habits are a huge part of, of getting your money uh, on track and where it needs to be. And so uh, is this a hard and fast rule and that I'm saying that I'm right and everybody else is wrong that disagrees with me? Anybody that knows me knows that uh, I don't really work that way. Um, I don't think there is the only way or this is the, the absolute best way for anything. It depends. It depends, right? But I know and have seen what not having money habits does to people and what having money habits does. And so if, all, if the concentration here is all on just the short term and then the money goes in here and then the, we have an emergency and then we fill it back up and then it comes out and then... Uh, you know, and it just kind of does this cycle, and even if it only does it for a few months, the habit of not saving here or here is just harder to start. It's just harder. And so if someone does have 300 and they do want to put the focus here, well then maybe do $150 here and 50 and 50. Because it's easier to do more of something we're already doing especially when it comes to the emotional part of money, it's easier to do more of what we're doing than it is to start a brand new habit. And anybody that is in the fitness industry or goes to the gym or has started a new uh, program of any type or uh, they, they haven't been praying and now they're going to pray or they uh, didn't read books before and now they're going to start reading is if you just dive into anything, reading your goals, anything, it's, it's just uh, a challenge sometimes for a lot of people to, to get to the point where it's a habit. And so the, so the principle of, of today, of how, how it works, is when it comes to approaching our money, is looking at getting an immediate account going, an emergency fund, and a retirement account. And in future episodes of the Impact School of Money, we'll talk about, we'll, okay, well, where, is, where are the different places that this immediate bucket can be that we have immediate access to it or very quick access to it. Where are the different accounts? Not necessarily the best accounts because it's going to be the best account for the person or the best account for you, 
is where are the different options and places that emergency funds, short term, mid term, down payment for a house, saving up for a car, saving up for a vacation, uh, uh, kids braces or football camp or whatever, where are the accounts that that money can go and how does growth affect it, how does interest affect it, uh, and then also the same thing with retirement and the different places that those accounts can be. So. Thank you again for joining us on the Impact School of Money today, where our mission is to help change the way that people learn about money. Uh, today we talked about the different buckets of money, where uh, and how to uh, approach a basic savings strategy and where to put money. Thank you for joining us today, and class dismissed. Mm -hmm.